Hello, I'm Trivia Master One. I invite you to watch the video, 18 Funny Historical Facts That Will Amaze You. Did you know the Russian Olympic team once arrived 12 days late to the games? Talk about missing the starting gun. Now you might be wondering, how could an entire team be late to such a significant event? Well, it all boils down to calendars. You see, back in 1908, Russia was still using the Julian calendar, which was roughly 12 days behind the Gregorian calendar, the one most of the world uses today. So when everyone else was winding down from the excitement of the London Olympics, the Russian team was just gearing up. Their athletes, primed and ready for competition, arrived only to find the games had ended almost two weeks prior. They had been training, preparing and looking forward to the event, only to find they'd missed it entirely due to a calendar mix-up. Imagine showing up late to the biggest sporting event in the world. Ever heard of a president ruling for just an hour? Well, Pedro Paredes of Mexico did. Yes, it's true. Picture this. The year is 1913, and Mexico's political landscape is tumultuous, to say the least. Amidst the chaos, a man named Pedro Lascurain Paredes steps up, becoming the president. But there's a twist. His presidency lasts for less than an hour. Pedro was an accomplished politician, having served as Mexico's foreign minister before this unexpected promotion. The plan? Pedro was to appoint General Victoriano Huerto as his interior minister, resign immediately, and let Huerto ascend to the presidency. This was an attempt to give Huerto's coup d'etat a veneer of legality. And so, after a brief stint in the highest office of the land, Pedro stepped down, making his presidency the shortest in the history of the world. Talk about a speedy career change. Blink and you'd have missed his entire presidency. You may have heard of blue blood, but did you know its origin is not as royal as you might think? This term, which we often use to describe those of noble lineage, actually has roots in 9th century Spain. Back then it was coined to distinguish the nobility from the Moors and commoners. But let's debunk one myth right away. It has nothing to do with the actual color of one's blood. The term blue blood originates from the Spanish phrase sangre azul. The nobility in Spain prided themselves on their pure Castilian heritage, which unlike the darker-skinned Moors, allowed for their blue veins to be visible beneath their skin. This was seen as a sign of a pure lineage, untouched by the taint of foreign influence. So next time you meet a blue blood, remember, it's not about the color. Meet Selim II, the sultan known more for his love of alcohol than his rule. This Ottoman emperor, fondly nicknamed Selim the Sot, or Selim the Drunk, was a merry monarch indeed. But unfortunately, not a very effective one. While his father, Suleiman the Magnificent, conquered lands and expanded the empire, Selim II preferred to conquer bottles of wine. In fact, his love for the grape was so intense that he even had a special vineyard planted in Cyprus. But Selim's fondness for the bottle wasn't just a personal quirk, it had significant political implications too. His reign marked the beginning of a period known as the Sultanate of Women, where the wives and mothers of sultans held the real power while the men were, well, incapacitated. Selim II's reign was a turning point for the Ottoman Empire, starting an era of politically and militarily inept rulers. Now that's what you call a spirited leader. From pig farmer to popular leader, Ivelo's story is not your everyday rags-to-riches tale. In the late 13th century, a man named Ivelo found himself in the unusual position of leading the Bulgarian Empire. And no, he wasn't born into royalty. He was a pig farmer and his rise to power is a story worth telling. Ivailo, known by his less formal title, Ivailo the Swineherd, was a charismatic commoner with a knack for leadership. His popularity grew among the peasantry, as he led a successful rebellion against the Mongol invaders. With the people behind him, Ivailo did the unthinkable. He overthrew the Bulgarian Tsar Konstantin Tik, and took the throne for himself. For a year, this pig farmer turned leader ruled, proving that leadership skills can be found in the most unlikely places. His charisma and determination resonated with the people, allowing him to hold power and influence. Who knew pig farming could be a stepping stone to leadership? Did you know there was a time when female teachers in Silesia had to be celibates? Yes, you heard that right. In the early 20th century, a peculiar rule was enforced in the Silesian region of Europe, a rule that seems rather odd to us today. A law was enacted that required all female teachers to remain unmarried, essentially living a life of celibacy. This was no temporary measure, it lasted nearly 12 years. The rationale? It was believed that marriage and family responsibilities would distract these women from their duties as educators. 
Public outcry eventually led to the abolishment of this rule, but it was not without a struggle. Imagine the pressure these women must have felt, having to choose between their personal happiness and their professional commitment. It's a stark reminder of how societal norms have changed over the years. Teaching certainly came with strict terms and conditions. Ever been to a temple filled with rats? In India there's one. Welcome to the Karni Mata Temple, an extraordinary place of worship that's home to not one, not two, but 20,000 rats. Yes, you heard it right, 20,000! These aren't your average pests though. They're revered as holy creatures believed to be the reincarnated descendants of Karni Mata herself, a female Hindu warrior sage. Legend has it that her stepson drowned in a pond and Yama, the god of death, refused to bring him back to life. So Karni Mata in her divine fury proclaimed that none of her family would fall into Yama's hands again. Instead they would be reincarnated as rats and upon death, reborn as humans in her lineage. So, if you're ever in India, consider paying a visit to this unique temple. Just remember, spotting a white rat among the sea of black ones is considered particularly auspicious. That's one temple visit you're unlikely to forget. Well there you have it folks. History can be as amusing as it is informative. We've traveled through time, across continents and into the lives of some of history's most intriguing figures. We've seen the Russian Olympic team who got their dates mixed up, made a quick stop in Mexico to witness the shortest presidency ever, and even dipped our toes into the blue blood of Spanish nobility. We've met Salim the Drunk, whose love for the bottle marked a new era in the Ottoman dynasty, and Ivelo the Swineherd, who rose from pig farmer to Bulgarian leader. We've delved into the controversial celibacy rule for Silesian teachers, and the Hermitage Museum's unique approach to pest control, employing a team of feline guardians. We've laughed at the absurdity of a beard tax in Russia, and marveled at Siberian teachers being paid in vodka. We've learned about Nikola Tesla's peculiar pearl phobia, and Samsung's humble beginnings as a small shop selling dried fish. We've puzzled over Erno Rubik's struggle with his own invention, and admired the determination that led to the birth of Lamborghini cars. We've discussed the first electric washing machine, and chuckled at the story of Liechtenstein's army returning from war with an extra soldier. We've applauded Grasa Michelle's unique distinction of being the first lady in two different countries, and explored the fascinating rat temple in India, where rodents are revered. Each of these stories has shown us that history is full of surprises, and that the past can be just as entertaining as any sitcom or comedy show. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through the annals of history, and that these amusing anecdotes have brought a smile to your face. Remember, history is not just about dates and battles, it's about the people, the stories, and the unexpected twists and turns that make it so fascinating. So keep exploring, keep learning, and keep laughing. Because history is full of surprises waiting to be discovered. If you enjoyed this video and want more fun facts from history, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications.